Hi, I'm Dan, software developer for RS2 and RS3. And today, we're talking about modeling piles in RS2 using the pile support type. Piles look like structural interfaces, but what's the difference? Both support types have a structural component to model the steel, concrete, or reinforced concrete. The primary difference is how we formulate the pile to better capture the soil flow around the pile, which is not possible using structural interfaces. Also, the pile properties are better designed for easier input of pile-specific information. Let's go and take a look at some examples. Let's compare the pile model on the left to the structural interface model on the right. The pile model allows continuous soil movement on each side, whereas the structural interface creates a discontinuity. Now, piles can be used for many applications, such as excavations, foundations, slow stability designs, as well as many other applications. For this pile wrap foundation, let's take a look at the pile properties. You can define the pile head connection types, the soil to structure interface skin and end bearing resistance, the structural properties of the beam, including different beam segments along the length. You can even define a force or displacement at the top or bottom of our pile. After computing this model, you can find the forces and displacements in the pile due to a nearby excavation. You can even graph the pile results along the pile, such as the axial force, bending moment, shear force, as well as many other result types. Let's take a look at the axial force for this pile. And of course in RS3, you can define much more complex models. That's all for modeling piles in RS2 and RS3. If you have any questions, leave a comment below.